In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create awesome looking cartoon effects inside Cartoon Animator 5 using Squash and Stretch, so stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel, the channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation and if that is you, welcome, you are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. And if you are new to animation or you're starting out and you're looking for a great community, uh, make sure to go um, in the description box below, there's a link um, to my Start Animating community um, there's a free plan currently open so you can just go join sign up it is absolutely free no monthly expenses um, so it's just a great community of animators and then also during the course of the year I will also open up my paid plans uh, with much more um, features available but if you just want to start out check the, everything out before paying a cent uh, make sure to go and check that out as I've mentioned, it is absolutely free. And then finally, if you are um, new to animation, you want to start out, but you've never animated before, you don't know where to start, well, I've got some great news. I have online video training. Um, so what you can do is you can just click in the description box below. There's also a link and it's a free video training that I give and you work alongside with me. And by the end of the video, you would have created your very own animation and you'll know the basics of animation like keyframe animation, etc. So you'll be able to have enough knowledge to continue and start creating your own animations. And that is for me very important. So it's a great um, tool if you want to start out your journey in animation. So go check out that link as well. So today we're going to look at Cartoon Animator 5. They've got a brand new feature which I absolutely love and that is to add um, squash and stretch to your animations and squash and stretch is um, one of the principles of animation. Um, if you want to learn more about the 12 principles of animation, I have a whole playlist. So just click there and go check out all the videos to learn more about it. But today I'm going to show you with a new feature inside Cartoon Animator 5 just how easy it is. Okay, so here in front of me I've got my character. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make her look the one way. Uh, let me just select her. So let's just deselect the eyes quickly and I'm going to make a look that way and let's select the eyes as well. And then I'm going to make a look the other way, but more like a cartoon effect. OK, so I'm going to apply three principles of animation in this. Obviously, the one is squash and stretch. That one will do right at the end. Um, so I just want to do my animation first. OK, so she's looking this way. And then I want her the yeah, at frame five. I want her to first um, look down. So I want her to look down like there and now let's just do the eyes I want her to look down and then at frame 5 now we can let her look that way and we can let her eyes look that way as well so if we press play that that is just a very short that's just the head now the reason i made the head look down and up is because that's a second principle of animation or um, that is um arc so you don't want things to move in a straight line you want it to move in an arc so a head moving like that that gives us the arc and it just looks so much better than a head just moving straight in a straight line so that's that is the first thing okay so there she looks and i think already it looks quite cool and another function I love about Cartoon Animator 5 is just the effect um, those hair effects if I press play just look how that hair looks um, swings around I just love that okay so now let's just add some more detail to it okay so I want to um, let's just move her body a little bit add some animation to the body so let's just move um, this arm down as well as the other one like so okay so we're gonna do a little bit of squash and stretch um, nothing major so in the middle 
Now she's looking down. So the first thing I want to do is I want to lift her shoulders a little bit. Drop her torso and maybe her neck a little bit as well. Okay, now that's the head. So let's just undo. Um, so let's select the neck and we can just drop that a little bit as well. Okay, so we've got our second one and then our final one. She's now going to look that way. So now let's move a neck back. I want her to really move forward like that. And let's just add maybe something like that. So if we press play now, that looks so much better. Okay, so now we've got a basic movement. Let's just add some facial expressions just to make it um, add some personality to it. So what I want to do is um, let's do a face quickly. So I want when she's in the middle, I want her eyes to be closed like so and her mouth. Let's do that. Okay. And then when she's looking there, she can have her, uh, her mouth, I think, let's do that one. Let's make her eyes wide open, like so. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, um, these sprites I normally one thing that I like to do is I like to change sprites in the middle of a movement okay so let's um, as you can see it's from 5 to 10 so in the middle I want that movement to take place and then as well with when she closes it in the middle like so that looks so much better and let's just add some um, eyebrow movement as well so in the beginning it's normal in the middle frame 5 let's drop it down like so and then at 10 it needs to be as high as possible and there we've got our basic animation okay so I'm um, it already looks quite awesome okay but now we can add squash and stretch to it just to add more to it okay so how you do that is there's a new function you'll see the um, object ffd and uh, so basically when you click it you can now deform your um, character okay so at frame five she is squashed and so now let's squash her even more so we drop everything And we drop this as well. Okay, so we really want to squash her. Like so. I'm just going to do it roughly. I'm not going to be perfect. So now she is squashed. Then at 10, I want her to be stretched. Okay, so let's do that. So now I am really stretching her. And that is... Another principle of animation is exaggeration. Okay, so I'm exaggerating this stretch now. As you can see, like so, I'm going to leave this one because I don't want her arm to be really stretched. Uh, more her face, like so. And then at two frames later, I just want her to move back. So I'm going to copy that first transform sprite, which is um, or keyframe that is normal. And I just want her to go back to normal right there. 
okay so if we press play there you go so if we go slowly she squash squashes in and she stretches out and go back to normal and that is how easy it is let's have a final look and you can see it kind of looks very cartoony and that is what we want and just see how easy that was to create it took me less than 10 minutes to do and it just looks so awesome so guys i really hope you've enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below and uh, if you did remember to hit that like button it really helps the youtube algorithms and that's one way you can help this channel and remember if you enjoyed this remember to click on the subscribe button and also on that notification bell so that you can get notified every week when i upload a brand new video so from me eon till next week when i release a new video god bless and happy animating